and now let's have a, a look how we can understand this modulator in greater detail here. So we've got our bandpass modulator. And so bandpass modulator, remember, that's quite a simple simple idea. So we've got our our carrier frequency here, FC. And this is generating a cosine and it's generating a sine. So let's first first deal with the cosine. So the cosine is multiplied with our input signal, in this case the real part SR of N. And then and then we're getting here our bandpass modulated signal. And so so let's have a look how this here is um, processed. So in um, by plotting this here. So so remember this is here running running at two times the sampling rate of of this part here. Yeah. So this is here the so this section here is running at um, twice two times two times f s of the symbol so that's our modulator frequency here so that's um, f s mod is running two times of the f s of this symbol here so the symbol that's our symbol here symbol at fs and so so let's put here sample points on this axis and um, these these sample points here they are sample points of the of two times fs or fs mod so the modulator sample points and remember the period uh, here is um, 0 point 0.2025 yeah so that's the carrier frequency fc fc is defined as 0 0.25 in normalized frequencies so what does it mean for a cosine wave so this means that the period is four samples yeah so this means here these are four samples so let's draw a cosine with four samples so that's that sample number one that sample number two that sample number three so that's basically one of our cosine waves here so we start zero one two three four and um, and then this whole thing continues i haven't driven i haven't drawn the samples in a very nice fashion here that looks a bit a bit skewed but we see what i mean with that so that's a cosine here that's our cosine wave and so now remember the sr of n that's just half the sampling rate of that what we see here so so at this point here in this period here we have x of n and then in this period here, we have x of n plus 1. And then for the next two samples here, we have x of n plus 2. And so on. So what we see now here is that um, if we are putting x of n in here, this is just the real part of this, that the real part is transmitted here at this sample, but it's um, omitted at this sample here. So the real part, essentially, what we're getting here um, out of this is, is um, just the real part at this at this moment in time, but the real part here is um, is suppressed. So here we're getting, at this point, the real part. And so what we see also here is that here at this point here for the x n plus one, we're getting minus the real part, and so on and so on. And so now we can also have a look at the at the sine wave. So the sine wave 
is um, multiplied with our si of n. So let's have a look at the at the at the sine wave here. I was getting a bit busy here on the drawing, and so again our samples. Hopefully, I draw this roughly in the same distance as before, and so our sine wave obviously starts at zero, and then then it goes up, then it goes back to zero, it goes to minus one, it goes up here and and so on like this so so therefore that's our sine wave so essentially like a triangle wave like this like the cosine so now let's have a look here again what our x of n does so here we have x of n and, and remember this is just the imaginary part so the the imaginary part is suppressed and then here we are getting at this point the imaginary part and then here at this point here we're getting the minus imaginary part and then here we are getting again the imaginary part and so this so this means what we see here already that um, so there's a real part then the next time step it's the imaginary part then next time step is negative real part then next time step is a negative imaginary part. Then next time step we see is a real one. So, so and therefore the the overall output of our of our modulator. So this gives us if we are if we are just um, summing up the cosine and the sines here, and the outputs the, these these two outputs with each other, then we're getting a sequence which looks like real imaginary and then minus real minus imaginary and then again real imaginary and so on and so therefore that's a very simple idea and it can be implemented very very quickly obviously in software